How to make this adaptive panel with a tractor point in Revit without using the dynamo. This is great for your facade or a wall accent into your interiors. Let's start. Open a new family. And select the metric generic model adaptive. Open. Select point element. Pick 5 reference points as shown. Select this 4 reference points. Make it adaptive. Select this reference point. Make it adaptive. Move this reference point. Select this 2 reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Dimensions. Select set work plane. Set this plane. Select this plane. And select this reference point. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Name it. Attractor distance. Select instance. And check reporting parameter. OK. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Ignore and close the warning. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick at midpoint. Select the circle. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Draw a circle. Pick the reference point. Select the circle. Then check his reference line. Select point element. Pick four reference points as shown. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Change the value to 0.125. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Change the value to 0.375. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Change the value to 0.625. Select this reference point. Normalized curve parameter. Change the value to 0.875. Next. Dimensions. Select diameter dimension. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then select the circle. Select the dimension. Then select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Diameter. OK. Select point element. Then select set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Set work plane. Set this plane. Then pick reference point. Repeat the process. Next. Select this for adaptive points. Go to filter. Check none. Then check reference points. OK. Go to offset. And select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Name it. Thickness. Select instance. OK. OK. Go to family types. Change the thickness to 100 millimeters. Apply. OK. Go to Family Types. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Type of Parameter Select Integer. Name it. Attractor Divisor. Let's group it under Dimensions. OK. 
change the attractor divisor value to 15. And let's link the diameter parameter to the attractor by adding the formula. Attractor distance over attractor divisor. And change the thickness to 300 millimeters. Apply. OK. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Select this two reference points. Select spline through points. Then check his reference line. Repeat the process. Next, select this reference lines and this reference lines. Then select create form. Select this reference lines and this reference lines. Then select create form. Repeat the process. Select all the forms, materials and finishes, associate family parameter, then select new parameter, name it, pattern finish, select instance, OK, OK. Uncheck shared, save the family. Name it. Adaptive Screen Attractor. Save the family. Next. Open a new family. And select Metric Generic Model Pattern Based. Open. Select Point Element. Then select Set Work Plane. Set this plane. Then pick Reference Point. Select the Reference Point. Go to Offset and Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Select Instance. Name it. Attractor Distance. OK. OK. Go to Family Types. Change the Attractor Distance value to 500 mm. OK. Select this four reference lines. Then select Create Form. Select the surface. Then select the Divide Surface. Change the U-Grid and V-Grid number to 6. Pick this small arrow. Check the nodes. OK. Go back to Adaptive Screen Attractor. Check Always Vertical. Load into Project and Close. Pick the four points as shown. And this last reference point for the attractor. Select the pattern. And associate family parameters. Select new parameter. 
Name it. Pattern finish. Select instance. OK. OK. Change the attractor divisor value to 10. And select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Attractor divisor. OK. OK. Change the thickness to 100 millimeters. And select associate family parameter. Select new parameter. Select instance. Name it. Thickness. OK. OK. Select the grid. Go to U grid number and associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. U grid. Select instance. OK. OK. Go to V grid number and associate family parameters. Select new parameter. Name it. V grid. Select instance. OK. OK. Select the pattern. Then select the repeat. Perfect. Go to family types. Now let's test the parameters. Change the thickness to 50 millimeters. Change the attractor distance value to 600 millimeters. Change the attractor divisor value to 8. Change the U grid and V grid number to 8. Apply. OK. Perfect. Uncheck shared. Check always vertical. Save the pattern. Name it. Adaptive screen corner attractor. Save the family. Next. Open the adaptive cylinder corner attractor from our previous tutorial. Or see the link in the description below. Open. We will use this pattern to override its existing pattern. Go to Families. And rename the adaptive cylinder corner attractor. Change it to adaptive screen corner attractor. Go back to Adaptive Screen Corner Attractor Family. Load into Project and Close. Select Overwrite the existing version. Now we've created the pattern with Center Attractor in just simple steps. Select the pattern. Go to Thickness. And Associate Family Parameters. Select New Parameter. Name it. Thickness. OK. OK. Go to Pattern Finish. And associate Family Parameters. Go to Family Types. Change the Attractor Divisor value to 15. Change the U Grid and V Grid number to 8. Apply. OK. Perfect. Uncheck Shared. Save as the family. Name it. Adaptive Screen Center Attractor. Save the family. Load into Project and Close. Let's apply the pattern into the wall. Go to Level 1. Let's create a reference plane to host the family. Let's add a name for the reference plane. Go to Section. Go to Massing and Site. First let's turn on the Show Mass. Then select In Place Mass. Mass 1. OK. Select Rectangle. Then specify the name of work plane in the list. OK. 
Draw a rectangle. Select the rectangle. Then check his reference line. Then select create form. Select the surface. Press tab to cycle the selection. Select the surface. Then select the divide surface. Change the V grid and U grid number to 1. Go to properties. And select adaptive screen center attractor. Go to edit type. Let's test the parameters. Change the U grid number to 14. And change the V grid number to 6. Apply. OK. Finish the mass. Go to 3D. Let's check. Perfect. Now we've created an adaptive screen grid with an attractor on center onto the wall. If you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe. That's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.